Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'll be showing a relatively easy way to install Windows 11 on Intel based Mac. Remember this will not work on M1 based Mac only for Intel based Macs. So before you start what will you need? You will need to have the Windows 11 ISO downloaded obviously. The second thing you will need is an external USB flash drive. The third thing you will need and this is the stupid power is an external keyboard and external mouse which you will need to be able to connect to the computer via cable or receivers whatever you prefer but uh, it cannot be Bluetooth because your Bluetooth drivers will not be working during installation time. First we will need to open disk utility and we will need to create a new partition for Windows installation. For me I just press common space it opens the spotlight and I like to open my programs this way anyway it's easier and you will search for disk utility and there it is. Don't mind the untitled flash drive for now because we will be loading the windows into this one for installation. Alright, to create the partition, you click the partition icon here and you click the plus sign here and you click add partition, not add volume. The name here is important because it helps you to find where you are installing Windows 11 later during installation and it may get confusing at that screen so I prefer to give a proper name so I'll just say Windows OS leave the format for now and for my case I'll assign 256 gigs here it doesn't matter what you assign as long as it's equal or more than 64 gigs that's the recommended and the reason why I say to back up your files because if you do something wrong here you may destroy your partition which is should be very hard to do anyway but if you do you have your backups and you know you can restore from there anyway once everything is said and done you click apply and you click partition it will throw a warning basically because you are resizing the startup volume but you just click continue and it will do its thing I'll speed up the process now And that's done and we are done with this for now the next thing we need is to open bootcamp assistant and we will only use bootcamp assistant to download the necessary drivers for this Mac for Windows 10 and for that matters Windows 10 drivers actually works with Windows 11 perfectly as I have tested them before so the same we open spotlight and we say bootcamp we open it and we don't actually do anything here what we'll do is we'll click action and we'll click download Windows support softwares and we'll download them you just um, select a place to download I'll just click downloads and as you can see I have already downloaded it here so I'm not gonna download it again but that's what it will do actually it will just download the necessary software and you will have a folder like Windows support and everything underneath anyway I'll just cancel this and I'll continue with the other bits of the installation process. I'll close this one. The next thing we need to do is to um, download the Windows 11 ISO obviously. The easiest bit is basically I'll just uh, open Safari and I'll just Google and I'll just say download Windows 11 ISO. So you go all the way down and there it is download Windows 11 disk image and you just select the drop down select the ISO and you click download I'm not going to download it again because I already have it downloaded as you can see here so once it is downloaded we will just copy the ISO files contents into the USB disk drive but before we do that we will have to make sure that it is formatted in a particular way so what do we do we just open disk utility again and you click the external volume but as you can see it is just the volume not the drive itself to change that you just click view and you say show all devices and now you will have the drive itself in here what we will do is we'll click erase and then we'll just say uh, exfat and we'll say w11 iso we'll just uh, click erase and this will just erase it and we're done with this one and we'll double click the iso file this will mount the ISO file anyway and then this is our uh, USB flash drive that we just formatted so we'll open that as well 
and this is pretty much easy copy and paste so we wait for the copy to finish and I'll just speed it up um, in the editing great so we are done with the ISO file we will also need to copy the Windows support folder into the USB flash drive If you don't remember, the Windows support uh, folder it was downloaded via the Bootcamp utility and this is the drivers for Windows 11 or 10 in general for this MacBook Pro. That's done. I'll just rename it to drivers. And we are pretty much done. All right. So while rebooting, we need to keep hold of Command and R to get into recovery menu. You will see in a minute why. All right, so it's loaded. Now we don't need anything to do with any of this. What we need is utilities and startup security utility. You will need to enter the macOS password. I'll just say my very secure password there. And initially, uh, I mean, I have obviously changed it, but initially when you will load it, it will say full security here and disallow booting from external or uh, removable media and stuff like that. What I prefer to do is initially I'll just say no security and allow booting and stuff like that. And I'll just close it and that's it really. That's all you need to do from here. Otherwise it will not allow you to either install Windows 11 or uh, boot from the external USB media uh, that your Windows 11 ISO is in basically. So that's that's a necessary step before you can actually start installing the Windows 11 but it is um, done so we'll just reboot again and this time while rebooting we will just hold option select the external USB flash drive and boot from that this will take a minute or two basically because it will it is trying to load its drivers and everything which will not work in my case it may work for you but it didn't work for my case and that's why I needed the external keyboard and mouse but um, yeah this is when it's just trying to load some drivers in and whatnot so there you go uh, for myself the language is UK uh, the time and currency I'm in Australia so I'll just be like that bear with and the keyboard is US click next Remember, none of this will be um, available for your internal keyboard and mouse. So you, uh, from here on, you will have to use your external keyboard and mouse. So I just say yes, set up now. I don't want to give a product key in this place. I uh, you know that it's Windows 11 Pro, the key I have. You select that and next. And this is the screen you probably will come up with. And this is a easy thing to bypass so we we press just shift f10 in this screen and we open the registry editor so we just say reg edit and this will open this up we go to hk local machine um, system and setup right click the setup new key and we'll say lab config on the lab config key press uh, new and dword 32 bit value and just say bypass RAM check and we'll add two more we'll say bypass TPM check and one more is bypass secure boot check once that's done we just Double click all of them and uh, put the value 1 for all of them and you are done. You close both windows, go back one step, select the version again, click, click next and voila, the, all the security checkings and everything is bypassed. We select customize and in this case we will select the, the partition that we created in uh, disk utility. So once selected, uh, I'll just select delete, I'll just delete the partition for Windows to be able to do whatever it wants to do. I'll just select this again and click next 
and it will start installation process and copy the files and whatnot. So we'll just uh, speed this up here. So as you can see, this time we have a new boot option, which is Windows. We select Windows and it will get in there. And after quite a while actually, we are welcome with our pop-up screen. So I'll just select Australia. By the way, our uh, internal keyboard and mouse, they will still not work. So you will still have to rely on the external key keyboard and mouse. Uh, my keyboard layout is um, United States International. Yes. I'll skip this one. Alright, so at this stage, as you can see, that um, we don't obviously have uh, our Wi Fi or uh, Ethernet or anything basically configured. So, just like before, we click Shift F10, we select the command prompt, so we type OOBE slash bypass NRO, and this will just restart. And this time it will come up with this selection. I don't have internet, just select that. And uh, continue with limited setup. Of course, your name. I'll just say Arthur Talks. You need to enter a very secure password. This is the stupid part. You'll have to select secret questions and answers. I'll just quickly do that. Please don't be like me because I'm just creating a tutorial. Do your own thing. I'll just say next, next. So in the last prompt, just select what you are comfortable with. You don't need to select everything. Uh, you know, you don't need to allow Microsoft to do everything or track your, track your location and stuff like that. But once that's done, this is going to come up with. I'm glad to see we were almost there, but we were actually there. So as you can see, I mean, like, obviously, the no drivers installed. Um, mouse keyboard are still not working which is a bit annoying I would say I would, I would hope that the mouse keyboard should be working with Windows 11 um, for the MacBook Pro 2019 because you know the driver should be there but it's not but it's alright uh, we just get in uh, to the USB flash drive that we created before we go into drivers bootcamp and we just set up the bootcamp that's the first thing I do anyway we will have to and then we just say accept and install the bootcamp driver and we are done we'll have to restart once anyway so we'll just do that now all right and from this point forward your mouse and keyboard, uh, the internal ones, will start working again. So you can disconnect your external mouse and keyboard if you want. But I'll just uh, continue loading the other drivers. So as you can see here, we have a few more things that the drivers was not being ins uh, installed by the automatic installation. But it's actually very easy. You just double click one of them. And then we just say browse my computer. And you just point to the USB drive drivers the folder you created you just select next and it will find driver for every one of them and there you go so all of your drivers are now installed and everything I highly recommend to uh, do a restart 
and uh, as you can see your wi-fi should be working now uh, i'll not be connecting to my wi-fi right away because it will just immediately start updating and stuff like that so once you are updated and everything uh, your radeon pro will be fully functional which it is already anyway uh, but your transparency main transparency and everything will come on uh, and that pretty much concludes our windows 11 installation on an intel based macbook pro